Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome to another, I was going to say Facebook Live then, but actually it's a whole new technology I am working on today. So I am, I normally do my lives on my iPad and phone. Um, today I'm doing them on my laptop and a webcam. So this is a whole new thing for me. So I, first of all, I need to know if you can hear me. Um, now, first of all, I need to see if I, there's the comments. Okay. Um, so I should be live on Facebook and on YouTube, which is the first time I've been able to do this. Um, so I'm a little bit scared um, and I'm hoping you can hear me. Um, yeah, so um, I'm, I know that I'm hoping there's not microphone feedback. I'm hoping you can hear me. So if there is anybody on watching live, um, then let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to carry going to carry on, and it could be that I do this whole video with no no noise at all. Um, and then I'm actually going to introduce Instagram into the mix as well. So um, yeah, this is all a little bit crazy today, but you know we live and we learn, don't we? So hello, hello, welcome, welcome. If you are new to me and you have no idea who I am, um, this is me. Um, well, this is partly me. Um, my name is Natalie O'Shea. That's not there. But um, I am the proud owner and founder of the Carb Making Academy. So you can find out all about me at www.thecarbmakingacademy.co.uk. Um, so let me, I can see some people are joining now. So um, if you can hear me okay, will you let me know? I'm either going to be mute or I'm going to be in stereo or I'm going to be um, a bit... Um, feedbacky um so if I, you could let me know either of those or if any of those are happening or whether you can hear me perfectly okay that would be fantastic thank you um so yeah so i uh, so i am natalie o'shea um i am also the card make academy if you go over there you can find out all sorts of things i do from kits in the post to um the blog is updated with free video tutorials how to's um, and everything like that. And as the name suggests, um, I'm here to teach you how to make handmade cards. So if you are new to me, um, then go and find me over there. Um, now, the products that I use today, um, having been a crafter for, oh, I've got comments. Hold on, let's see. All is fine. Yay! <laughs> Fantastic. I can't believe I've got it right first time. Surely not. <laughs> but great. Fantastic if I have. Um, I've shocked myself there, to be fair. Um, right, okay, so um, it's a cup. Thank, thank you for joining me, that's great. Um, so all the products that I use are from a company called Stamping Up. Um, as I say, I've been crafting for nearly 30 years now. Um, I know I don't look it. Um, and I love their products because they're, they're high quality um, and crafting is one of those you get what you pay for. So sometimes if you're not getting the results that you um, that everyone else is getting using their crafting stuff, you might be sitting there going, well, well it's not fair. How can I not make that work? Um, and sometimes it could just be the quality of stuff that you have. So um, to get good stamped images, you need a good, nice piece, flat, smooth piece of card. You need a good um, stamp and you need good ink. That's your three things. Um, and if you have one of those that's slightly off, then you could be off completely. And that's why you're not getting a good image. Um, but I am all about introducing card making to the beginner, but also taking it beyond as well. Um, so if you do see anything that you like um, that I'm using today, everything that I'm using is available from there, www.natalieoshea.stampingup.net. Um, and if you go there, um, I will edit this afterwards. I didn't know how to do it beforehand, but I will edit this afterwards with links to the products so that you can see those there. But let's get rid of that. Um, now, for those of you who joined me yesterday, let me put my comments on again. Like I can say, I love this. Uh, Ali's here with a fish finger sandwich and a drooling <laughs> I think I'd be drooling over a fish finger sandwich as well, Ali. <laughs> Um, so let, let's get on. So if you were here with me yesterday, um, you would know that as, um, as a demonstrator for stamping up um, this for the company of the craft products, um, I, um, we well, have the opportunity to earn incentive trips. And each year, every year I've been doing it, I've earned the incentive trip. So I should actually be in Hawaii this week. <laughs> um, and I mean, lucky US demonstrators have, have still managed to go because obviously they're within their own country. Um, but the rest of us, Stampin' Up! is in Canada and New Zealand and Austri Austri Australia, but also Austria, the Netherlands, France and Germany. 
we've not been able to go thanks to COVID. So I thought I'm going to cheer myself up by um, learning new software, having new hardware, and yeah, just having a little play this week and just um, interacting with you all. Because normally I do a um, live on Facebook on a Wednesday, um, but I say so I'm introducing new. Um, platforms and new technology and it's all crazy times but uh, i'm seeing the comments coming up great so lynn says ready steady let's go yeah um so i shared a really super simple card um yesterday and i did say that i was going to kind of step it up so it's not the same card but same but different um to show you how you can go from super simple card and then through the week we're going to get um harder and harder so um or just more complex let's say nothing's hard when you know how to do it nothing's hard um so monday tuesday wednesday thursday we're going to be doing that um, and then on Friday, I'm going to be doing a virtual class. So it's three cards. Um, so instead of one, like today, we're going to be doing three. Um, now, I do have um, an ordering special. So if there is things that you like that you see that I'm using. Um, now, let's see. You can kind of see that bit of paper there. If I swap over here, this could be interesting. Whoop, is that going to work? <laughs> hey, look at that. So, again, so this is a new webcam that I'm trying out. So, again, let me know if you can't see that clearly. Um, but hopefully that should all be fine. But, again, if you can let me know in the comments, I'd be really grateful um, if you would let me know because I'm, I'm, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. Because, obviously, you can see my face as well. So I can't pick my nose or flick my hair off. You know, scratch my ear or do any of that now because you're I'm now on camera both ways <laughs> but you can see this the most so if there are things that you fancy and there's no pressure but I'm offering you a little incentive let me shopping incentive instead of my incentive trip so Ali likes a new webcam so you can see clearly can you and I'm at a, I'm at a bit of a wonk um but <laughs> hopefully you can see that fine in fact I'm gonna do that with that um so yes so just to let you know the um, shopping special so if you would like to place an order fairly clear says Lynn that's good okay um so if you would like to place an order there's that address again www natalieoshea.stampingup.net um, and if you place an order it says that um, so this is from today or yesterday um, but today until Sunday inclusive um, and you use this host code now let's put that up there whoop <laughs> look at me <laughs> Um, the Hawaii host code is there. So when you go to checkout, you'll see um, an option to add a host code when you get to your basket and you need to add those those letters and numbers. So YYX66E26. Um, and then you will receive some new items from the catalogue. Now, it's a big surprise. You don't know what you're going to get. Um, but if you spend £50, you'll get one free item. Spend £100, you'll get two free items. And if you spend £150 or more, you'll get three free items. Um, so that's what we've got going on. But you must use that host code because otherwise I won't know that you're taking part in this um, Hawaii shopping special. Um, so that's what you need to do. So the only other couple of things that um, I need to tell you about is um, that if you have got a shopping list of about £150 and we need to talk, let's, let's swap me over again for a minute. Um, there we go. So if you are, um, if your wish list is that long, then we really need to talk about you joining. Now, when you go, oh, my God, I can do what you do. You don't have to do what I do. And even though the name is a demonstrator, everyone joins as a demonstrator. You don't have to do that. Um, many of my team um, that spread all over the UK um, and Northern Ireland. Hello, Julian. <laughs> Um, are, are just happy shoppers. They just buy that and get it for themselves and maybe share with friends or family, um, but that's it. And then I do have other people in the group who are running it as a full-time business like myself as well. And you can do anything in between. Um, so yeah, why wouldn't you want to get £154 worth of goodies, pay £99, include shipping, and you know what? You can just take the experience for a test drive until the end of September. Um, so you could join, not do anything else, and you'd stay a demonstrator until September. Then you would drop, and you simply just go back to being a customer again. It's no big deal. You don't have to pay the cost of your starter kit back or anything like that. So it is all a bit crazy, really. Um, but that offer is only on until the end of May. Normally, it's £130 of your choice, um, but this month it is £154. So another 24 quid. So you can get a lot 
a lot of money, a lot of a product for your money this month. And so, yes, to just talk to me about that. There's no hassle, no pressure. We're a fun team. Um, and, yeah, it's just good to kind of be where other people understand why you stroke paper and ribbon and things like that. Um, so there's that on. And it, But if you really don't want it, that's fine. There's no pressure to join. Um, so Paula can see me both. That's great. Um, well, not both of me, both the desk and me. Um, and the other thing is if you are um, if you don't want to be a demonstrator, that's absolutely fine as well. Um, but if you want to be a customer and you've still got that big wish list, then if you're spending over £200 in one go, you get another £20 for free. So at the moment, if you were to place an order for £200, you'd get £20 for free um, at the end when you go to check out. But until June the 14th, you get another £20. So spend £200 and you get £40 for free i don't i don't get that when i go and spend 200 pound in another shop <laughs> and completely of your choice it's not out of a selection or anything like that so that's the kind of offers and deals that are going on at the moment so i've got my hawaii shopping special you've got that joining special and you've got that um big big order and um, or you could collate a few orders from friends i have a couple of customers that put their orders together to get the larger amounts of rewards and that as well so that might be an option for you too Right. OK, let's. Everyone's on Facebook that's commenting at the moment. It'd be interesting to see whether this went to YouTube or not. <laughs> um, OK, so let's kind of get on with it. I'm going to I'm now going to confuse matters even more and bring in Instagram because like three platforms at once isn't enough, of course. So bear with me a second while I just do that. I'll swap over here. Whoop. There we go. Trum. <laughs> This, I love this. I'm loving it already. Um, so let's just go. Hello and welcome Instagrammers. So we are here on a face, Facebook Live. I'm going to need to stop saying that now. We're here on a live um, and today I am live crafting. So for everybody now, let's move that out the way. Um, I do have a shopping special for those on Instagram, um, but you can see that on my um, grid, posts, stories, everywhere at the moment. So yesterday we made a super simple card, um, which was, hold on. So we started off super simple. So this is just white card, a few ink pads and one stamp set. Um, and we made this, and this is a perfectly great card for a new card maker, a new stamper, um, wherever you kind of sit there and think you fit. So if you have nothing else and you're brand new, um, having a good quality white cardstock is the best thing to start with. Um, so this week, so Monday to Thursday, I'm using this stamp set here. So it's called Sweet Ice Cream. It's got a couple of good sentiments in it. So a happy birthday and a thank you and some other things as well. Um, we have some of these images um, which are meant to be like that. As you see, it's a kind of a blotchy, if you like, a blotchy stamping. It's not supposed to be a solid stamped image. It's supposed to give texture. Um, and we've got all sorts of things going on there. So I'm using that. And in fact, I've just remembered I've got to use the punch that I can't even see. Oh, there it is. I've just spotted it. I haven't got that out today. Let's get that out. Um, so as with lots of things, Stamping Up is well known for its coordination. Um, so in a lot of their things, they have either coordinating punches or um, dies. And in this case, oh, look, I can see me. Oh, that's not a good angle, is it? Let's get rid of those chins. <laughs> And um, so in this case, there's a coordinating punch. So this, as you can see, punches out two shapes. Um, it's this, the cone and the cone ice cream. <laughs> I was wondering what that was called then. Um, and you simply unlock those by doing that. And then you've got something that looks similar to the kind of two hole office work place punch. That was the first thing, the first card that made me wanted to... Um, start card making um, the, a neighbour had given me a card and it had the tiniest little Christmas tree on and I'm like oh my god how does she cut that out and if you don't know that there's punches that come in different shapes 
you sit there and think they've cut it out by hand and they're amazing because they've done such a great job at it. <laughs> but no, they're cheating. They're punches that come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. Um, so these are our punches. And it just means it's easier than cutting out by hand. Is it essential to have a coordinating die or a coordinating punch? No, you can cut it all out with scissors. That's what I did when I got started. I didn't have all the funds to buy all the things. Um, plus, they didn't exist. Die cutting machines didn't exist when I started crafting. How sad is that? So that's what we started with. So this was our, our simple. So we just did some um, stamping with the pool party is the blue to two stamps to create the ice lolly. Another stamp for the um, stick in crumb cake. And then I used Blackberry Bliss yesterday to add some sprinkles and um, sentiment. Um, but today we are we're going one step further. We're getting messy. And honestly, I've been playing this morning. <laughs> I've got really messy. So this is the card we're going to make today. So as you see, same stamp set, same principle, same colours, um, but and same layout. In fact, look, white, white a layer on a white base. So lots of similarities, but it's just taking it that one step up. So let's get on. So I've been playing. There's lots of different ways to get this effect but it's messy, which is why I've sat there and said, it's messy crafting today. Um, and I've got a bit of grid paper and I've got kitchen roll at the ready and all sorts. Um, but let's, I mean, it's, it's, let's, we're gonna show you how to make, let's have a look, can you see that on camera? So you can see, so this kind of watercolor washed um, background um, and these flicky dots as well. So I'm gonna show you how you do those. and. As with lots of things in crafting, there's a whole variety of ways that you can get this. Um, so let, let's start with the first one. The first thing I could have done is I could have taken some ink. Now, ink comes in various formats here. And so there's three ways the same ink can be used. So here's my Rich Razzlebury. And there are three different ways of getting ink. So one and so first of all, um, we're using water. So these are water based ink um, that are in here. So it's not alcohol. If I was trying to use an alcohol based ink in whichever format, it would not work in the same principle. I'd need to use um, isopropyl alcohol as opposed to water, but we're using water because these are water based and um, so they will mix and spread and that's what we want. So we have these Stampin' Write markers, they have two ends, one is a thin end that you could write with or if you stamped a fine line and it didn't quite stamp out properly you could draw it in um, and then you've got this brush tip end as well. Um, so that is one way we could use the ink. We have a normal ink pad so that all our Stampin' Up ink pads they come in um, 50 colours and a few more, sort of whites and white, a white and a black. Um, but this, this is how it is, and it's, it's stored like this, so that it's stored upside down. So all the ink is always at the top of the ink pad. Clever. But that's another way we could use it. And um, all we have these little ring inkers as well. Which I mean, look at me. You can always <laughs> these colours are always. Let's get messy. So this is rich razzlebury. This colour, and that's the three forms that we can do it in. And you can use any of them for this technique. Um, so one way we could have done it is to get a nice thick sort of paintbrush, um, put some in water, you could drop some of this reinker, because this is a reinker for the ink pad. So um, when your ink pad runs out or starts drying out for any reason or you've used it lots, you can re-ink it and it's just like brand new again. Um, but you could get lots of water and you could drip some of this in and you could paint. So that could be one way that you'd create this more color wash. Um, and that's perfectly fine. That's one way to do it. Um, you, we also, if you really struggle or you don't like getting messy, um, which I don't, to be fair. So this is taking me a little bit out of my comfort zone. Um, <laughs> um, you could, there are stamps that do like a great big color wash background. Um, and you could do that. You can squeeze your ink pad, not heavily. You can't do it too much. We can see the tiniest of bits there. And then I could add some water, look, and suddenly that becomes a little paint palette and I could use that and I could do it like that as well. So lots of ways to do it, but that's not how we're going to do it today. Um, and I'm sure there's more. There's going to be more than I haven't mentioned either. So I'm just going to clean that up before I get too messy. But look at the nice colour that it is. Love it. Right. OK, so. Whoops. Let's get started. So we are going to start with, oh, don't have a sneaky peek there. You've already had a sneaky peek of um, 
one of the cards. Right. Okay, different papers that you can use as well. So to start with, I'm just going to use, um, for my base card, it's just a thick white card. So this is an A4 piece of paper that I've cut in half, um, and I'm just going to fold it in half now to make my base card. So making sure the corners line up there, and when I'm happy, just using a bone folder to create a really firm fold it means that the card closes properly it means that i'm not getting any ink on my fingers over it if i'm running my nail down it or something like that or any of my nail varnish coming off on it so it gives a nice clean um cut that's our base card done so i'm actually going to put that to one side for the moment but it's a thick whisper white um we do do a thinner one but i have to say that i have um you, i just use the thick for everything now um but that you, you, if you wanted a better value for your money, we do a thinner card, which is great for layers and um, cutting these things out and things like that. But I always go definitely thick for my base card. But I've just kind of done um, that for everything now. All right. So three different kind of white cards that we could use for this. So I have to work out where they all are um, and which one's which. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not. Um, but... I doubt it. Can you see? There's a very fine shimmer in that. Oh, he doesn't like it. It's just gone dark. <laughs> well, try, you're going to need to trust me on this. This is a, called a shimmer cardstock. It's, quite, it's slightly thicker, um, and it can take a little bit more water than our normal white. So I'm absolutely going to use this same, the card that I've just made. This is um, thick basic white, and I'm going to use that. Um, but I'm just showing you some alternatives. So you can have that shimmer in there as well. Or we do a watercolour um, paper, which obviously, as the name suggests, is particularly for watercolouring and can take lots more water. It doesn't warp as much. Um, it soaks in more water. If you're getting really, really wet, um, this is the best one to take. But it is textured. So if you're trying to stamp straight onto this, you're, let's say, say we were stamping on a sentiment, you would um, get that mottled effect on it it wouldn't be a solid image as if you were stamping on smooth card which is why i say um you know nice stamped image you need a nice flat card um but i'm going to choose diff different ways and i don't even know what i've done with my other bit i thought i'd cut some normal bit i might have to cut another bit in a second or is this it here let's have a look might be this bit Oh, that's it. There it is. Oh, look, I've got mess on it already. Um, so that's normal whisper white. Ignore that. Not whisper, basic white now. Sorry. Um, and I'm going to gonna try all three and we'll see what we get. Now, <laughs> you can see what I've been playing with today. So different effects I've been getting when I've been playing with different ways of doing this um, and seeing how to get more control, um, different effects, some dark, some light. Just depends what, <laughs> not sure that looks too great, but if you kind of like that. And um, on the front of the catalogue, in fact, let me get the catalogue. So all this, uh, hold on. So on the front of our catalogue is this Expressions in Ink um, set. Now these are actually alcohol inks, but the principle is still exactly the same. They, um, they just used alcohol. Now it's, it's printed. Um, I should probably check where that is in the catalogue. Hold on. Um, where are you? Expressions in ink, ninety-six to ninety-seven. So there we go. How gorgeous is that? Gorgeous. That's how gorgeous it is. <laughs> Um, so I love this. So we're going for the same sort of effect. So it shows you the different colours that you can use um, on there as well. But uh, yes, yeah, so if you don't like messy, but you like this effect, buy some pattern paper. <laughs> it saves all of that. Um, so we're going to give it a go. So what do we need? So, uh, so kitchen roll, I've done first and foremost. Um, now I have a piece of acetate here. Now it's not, uh, it's quite thick acetate. Um, we have something called window sheets, um, and that's really good to use. Um, because, yeah, really flimsy acetate. You want it to have a, be quite quite thick. Um, so that's what we're using. Um, now, <laughs> we could do all sorts of things. So we could add ink to the acetate by doing this. We can add ink to the acetate with an ink pad. We can add 
ink to the acetate by dropping reinker. Any of those three ways all works the same. And what we're going to do, this is going to go everywhere. <laughs> you need, I mean, this is, my, this is what I water my plants with, um, but you need something like this, a spritzer. Um, and you'll see, look at that spread. Now, two different ways of doing this as, as, as well. So this is one way. Let's just show you that first. Um, and again, you can, direct, if it's working properly, you can direction it, move it around, make it lighter, the more water, the more watered down the colour is, the more intense it is. Um, and, oh, look, I've got it everywhere. <laughs> and I could then put my paper in here. Now, that will give you more of the whole watercolored look, look like that. So if you like that whole big intense, not that one, not that one, these ones. That will kind of do that if you take the paper to here. Now, let's clear that up. This is where, that's why I say it's gonna be messy. So that's one way of doing it, but it's not the way I'm gonna do it. Um, or not for the moment, anyway. It looks like a massacre scene. <laughs> when you finish with this oh dear that's one way but you can also add your water first and then add your ink now depending on how much water you put will depend on how much that will spread so again you can start adding look at me what a mess <laughs> And again, you'll get that sort of effect. But if you want a more controlled, like this, more controlled, you actually need to get rid of most of the water and most of the ink. So, and again, when you pour it off, it's going to make all sorts of different shapes. And that's great because that's what we want. And then, <laughs> how can I do this? I'm going to put that there. I'm not even sure you can see it. Let's move up a little bit. Oh, it's just sodden. Then, forget the drips and things. You can start smooshing the ink from the acetate. And then you can see you have a lot more control about where it goes, what it looks like, how smooshed it is. And if you want to bring it down, you can drag. And there we go. And then you can leave it to one side to dry. If you have a heat gun, you can give it a blast, mind your ears. And that will dry it a lot quicker. You can see that's far more controlled, believe it or not. <laughs> Now that is on plain whisper white. Now look, so let's get rid of the mask for scene. Look, I really should have put something under here. Never mind. Ugh. It's as easy as that. I've got drips everywhere. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So I can just wipe that dry. And let's try. Um, so same again, but different paper. So I'm going to do water first, so a lot more water this time, and again re-inker, oh I missed the water, there we go, there we go, and wiggle this around, it's really just fun playing, and don't forget it's just bits of card. It's no big deal if, it's, if you get it what you call, might call wrong. It's not wrong. It's just different. Look, wiggle it around. So that's going to be quite a lot darker, I think. But how are we liking this? Whoop. Who's done this kind of thing before? And again, how much do I want to leave on there as to how dark I want it? So what's, let's go watercolour next. So again, 
and again wiggle where you want it. Oh, get off. And you'll leave depending on what you do. So I can move that around, make the darker bit anywhere I want it to go. I might whip off the end that you probably can't see. How are we doing? Let's get rid of that. Let's give that a blast. I like that one. But can you see all the different effects you can get? So let's give that a quick blast. And this heat, you can actually move the ink around a bit more as well. That'll do. I'm not drying it all completely. Now you would need to wait for it to dry completely, but that's the watercolour paper. So again, same but different. Look at my blood bath. Oh, I just done that around the wrong way. <laughs> I think I have. I think it's outside. There we go. Right. So last, lastly, let's do it the other way again. So you can do ink first. I just find the re-ink is a little bit more um, in control. That's all. But, and they're like four quid. So some other bit of water. See all my splats going everywhere. And again, I can oh, kind of going corner to corner, or side to side, should I say, more than corner to corner. Right. That's a, what a mess. <laughs> what a mess. Right. So the next thing I'm going to do that's got all that, oh, let's try that side, is the shimmer. Because I'm getting rid, look, I'm getting rid of most of that liquid, which is why... All, the, all three of these will take this. Oh, look, what a mess. Hang on, I might need to get rid of that. <laughs> you would obviously put something underneath yours so you didn't have this. Oh, look, I'm wiggling off my finger now. Oh. Right, hold on. Right, then quickly. It's got a bit too much there. I'm going to go. But you could drip it as well. Da, da, da. And just smoosh. Just darker bits, so you can have the darker bits if you want, or you can spread those out to the sides. See? What fun we can have. Let's get rid of that. Now, just I'm, I'm not doing it today, but just to make things really exciting... Right, and also what you can do as well is you can get a new bit. If that is all quite wet, you can get a bit of kitchen roll. And before you even dry it, you can just put it on top. Like that, let's move that back up there. And lift that off. And that will dry the majority of it already. Now, you can see, oh, you might be able to see. Can you see that shimmer in it now? Or not? <laughs> So if you can see that slight shimmer. But what I was going to say was what you can also do is, in fact, I might do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, Wink Costella pen, anyone? So you can squeeze. Oh, I don't know if I've got anything left in this. <laughs> well, you could squeeze if it worked. Let's try and find one that's got some in it, shall we? Anyone know what's going to happen now? <gasps> Look at that. Oh, a bit bubbly. So a wink of Stella pen, we often just go over. So if we've coloured something, um, we would just brush over it. It's got a brush tip end. But so if I wiggle that around now, ignore the bubbles. Oh, you won't be able to see it. It's got a really fine shimmer in it. So what I can then do, I kind of need to do it on one that isn't the shimmer paper, because you can see that hopefully there now. Let's do it on here. Is do that. And you can go all over and add. Hold on. Oh, look at that. <laughs> can you see, I don't know if you can see. Hold on. Give me a blast. That'll do. I'm just trying to do, look. 
Can you see that? Oh, <laughs> you can see it there. So that's just added a shimmer all over. So you've got shimmer card, or you've got a wink of Stella after. So the shimmer card is very subtle. Um, whereas that, I hope you can see that. So can I show a close up of the bottle? So yes, so this is just um, a, a water-based re-inker for an ink pad. So this one is from Stampin' Up um, called Rich Razzlebury. So there we go. So what else have we got people saying? Um, Lynn's love the papers, the expressions ink papers, they're beautiful, aren't they? Um, you tried doing it yourself, but it wasn't great. So basically use these similar principles with the alcohol. Um, so you can use your blends, pens, which are alcohol based um, and some isopropyl um, alcohol. But you wouldn't be able to do it with water because it, it wouldn't um, work like that. Um, Annie's never tried this before. Oh, wow. But look, look how messy you can get and how much fun it is. It's just kind of making different backgroundy things, really. Um, so... <laughs> Sales of kitchen paper have increased. I know they need to a little bit, don't they? Um, but yes, I mean, as you can see, a lot. I made such a mess. It is a mess because you're spraying water and you're spraying ink, but it's all water-based, so it all, all washes out. God, I've got it everywhere. Um, so, should we get on with making the card? There, there's a little play, and as I say, you could still do. I prefer the reinker, um, but you could still do um, all the other bits. Um, as well so you could use the um, marker pens or the ink pads as well work as just as well it does look like a massive casino over there oh and look oh, here's what i made earlier and i've covered it never mind we can still use it right there's the watercolor paper so you can see they'll all kind of take it as long as you are drying it um, so a bit of kitchen towel over the top quickly. We'll take most of the liquid off. A burst with the heat tool um, works as well. Um, so let's bring our card back in, shall we? I need to pick a base. Oh, my goodness. Right. Here's one out of all the ones I've made. What shall I use? I do quite like that one, I have to say, especially now I've put the um, Winker Stella on it as well. That one's quite nice. That's a bit paler. That's a bit proper. Quite like that one. Let's see if we can, let's put it to the vote, shall we? That's too dark, I think, for me. So let's go, what would you prefer? Would you prefer number one, number two, or number three? If you can see all those, number one. Oh, hang on, down a bit. Number one, number two, number three. Which one should we use? Number three. <laughs> one, two, or three. Huh? Two or three. One, two or three. And you can see you get a different effect all the time. And obviously you can do multiple colours as well. I've only used one colour there. But you could then do a different colour up here, a different colour kind of across here. What, one. What, oh, one, three, three, one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. One or three. The Wink of Stella one. Oh, no. Now look. We kind of draw. Oh. <laughs> Well, no, come on, what have we got? One, 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 it's a split decision, isn't it? One and three, one and three. The other thing I wanted to show you as well, um, while we're here, and I will put again, I'll put another bit of kitchen mould down, um, is these flicks. So the flicks on here, can you see that? And what I've already done on here, because I was playing earlier before I did the Wink of Stella, um, which I, so I'll do it on this one. So two's definitely out. So if you have a pen, now whether you have, let's do, uh, whether you have a water-based pen, you can do this, or these are the alcohol-based pens, the um, blends, and um, either will work with this. So, but you just need a brush tip end. So this is the thick end, this is the brush tip end. So if you've got these marker pens, that works. And I'm literally just going to flick against the lid. And that is gonna create that splatter. Now, the harder you do it, the more comes out, um, yeah, the more splatter it is. The higher up, the more the splatter spreads. The lower down, the more intense it is. The harder, the more flex. So, again, it's just having a little play um, about what kind you look, what you, what look you like. That's the word. So, I haven't done an awful lot on that one. I did a lot more on that one. But just to show you that these work just as well as well. You can see 
different splatters. So this is very unlike me, isn't it? I'm Mrs. Clean and Contemporary, and these are all just craziness. Right. So which one now? One or three? One or three? One or three? <laughs> so we're going to say we're re replicating this card, sort of. One or three? I don't know how far behind everybody is. There's always a delay. Oh, uh, number one. Number three. <laughs> Still number one, says Helen. Three. Oh, you are not making this easy for me. Three, one, three, one, one. We've got three ones. Three. What? Oh, what? It looks like one's got it. Okay. I'm going to say goodbye to my Winkostella. I'm, of course, going to use that in something else, though. But I'll put that to one side for the moment. We will use number one, as, as requested by you guys. I don't think it's cut to size, to be fair. Um, I need to... Where's my trimmer? Oh, because I did so many bits of paper. In actual fact, that is on the plain basic white card as well. So it's not shimmery, it's not watercolour, um, and yet we are using it fine. So it is nine and a half, and that is 30. Oh, is the right size at all? Go me. Right, okay. Oh, <laughs> I have ink everywhere. <laughs> right, okay, so we, we did our base card earlier. That's still, that's still over here, but we're still going to um, kind of keep that. To, in fact, I'm going to keep that to one side as well, because what I need now is we're going to do some stamping. Oh, how long have we been going? We've been going 40 minutes already today. Look at me. I've got dots over everywhere, but honestly, I don't care. That's, it's all good. Look, you've got a practice side and then another side. Um, so we are going to use... Um, this stamp here, which is the ice cream, um, but dun, 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 dun. anyone for Mickey Mouse? Anyone for a bear? Or any other cute kind of face? That's what I've seen that used for a lot already. To be a Mickey Mouse fan, go, you're there. Um, but we're going to use it as an ice cream, um, and we're going to use the cone. We're going to use the crisscross to make the waffle cone. Um, we're going to be using some sprinkles, um, and that's it. That's what we're going to be doing today. So, as I said to you, it comes, well, you can either buy the stamp set on its own, or you can buy the coordinating punch. Um, if you buy them both together, you get 10% off. How cool is that? Um, but you could cut it out by hand as well. I mean, that's not, you know, you can do it. You can't have all the things all at once, can you? Um, or maybe you can. <laughs> Whatever works for you. So I'm going to go crumb cake for, let's do that first. Um, so crumb cake is a, is a brown, like a cake, from, a crumb from a cake, as the name suggests. Gentle inking. I'm not pushing through. I'm not getting ink all over the um, acrylic block. So these are photopolymer stamps, which means I can see through them, which is a great to start with. Um, but they are supposed to have this mottled effect. This isn't supposed to be a solid um, no model image. That's the whole point of it. It's, it gives a kind of bit of dimension with the shading. Um, oh, let's move that out of the way. Um, and then I'm going to use, again, crumb cake again, and just go over the top like that. There we go. And you can see the crisscross there. That's cool. And then, so pool party was the blue. I do love these colours together. What's not to love about blue and brown together, especially? Uh, we'll keep that. So you could cut that out with scissors. Let's, you know, let's be honest here. A uh, little bit more difficult to cut this one out. Um, but if you're making multiples of as well, it can be quite difficult. Um, so I don't know. Right, I'm actually going to. Now what I'm doing is I'm seeing which way round that is can you see that there so i'm going to stamp my image the same way the punch is it really wouldn't matter but i'm just making life easy for myself right so that's my ice cream ice cream and then rich raspberry look at my fingers oh goodness me the joys are crafting and then so my little hundreds and thousands of sprinkly things 
I'll stamp those first. Now, I would always suggest that you stamp first and punch or cut out afterwards. Uh, it's very difficult to punch out a shape and then try and get it um, spot on. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying you make it difficult for yourself. Um, so these punches work exactly the same as the office punch, but I always use them upside down um, because then I can see what I'm doing. If I was trying to go, oh, well, I don't know what that is. First of all, I don't know which way round it is. So always upside down um, and on a piece of card big enough that you can move it around. So I'm moving it around. And when I think I'm happy that it's got an even border all the way around, I'm going to squeeze it ever so slightly, which means it won't wobble. It means I can have a proper look at whether I'm happy with that. And when I'm happy, palms out the way, squeeze. Look at that. That was a lot easier than cutting it out by hand. And that's it. It's all about convenience. That's all. Oh, oh this is a bit weird. <laughs> so this one goes like that. But it goes right. Now, my bit of card won't let me do that properly. So what I need to do, well, I'm just going to tear it in this case. And um, you could just cut a bit off because that's that bit that's stopping it from doing the funny angle that it is. Oh, it's... <laughs> there we go. Right. And again, it probably would have been easier to do that one by um, hand. Never mind. Right, there's all my scraps. I know Instagram, you can see all my mess. I'm really sorry. Um, what have we got? Go for the Winkastella one. Sorry. <laughs> no Winkastella. Um, so there is my little stamped ice cream. Um, I did look. Here's one I made earlier. Look at it. It's now got flicks on it. Could just do that. Look, I even cut another one out so I could do it. Never mind. You might like the whole flick thing. Look. <laughs> Get rid of that. Where's my sentiment? There it is. With sprinkles on top. In pool party. That will do. I think I actually used Bermuda Bay on that one because it's slightly darker. But we will go with sprinkle. Oh, I've got to get it straight now. Or as straight as can be. I'm not wobbling it or doing any of that. That'll do. Whew. Okay. So, where's my bit? Was that it? That's it. <laughs> that was a one, three, one, three. That way, I think. Um, and so, literally, so the these are flat. So, I've got some wet glue. So, just a little tombow. It's got a, um, a nice thin bit here. Oh, she says, so too much doesn't come out. Have it now with lots coming out. There we go. And, in fact, that's flat as well. So, oh, I'm scared I'm going to get ink all over them because I've got ink all over my fingers. Right, so that can go there. Got glue on there. There we go. Oh, nearly to put it on upside down then. There we go. So this is very unlike me, very inky. <laughs> um, and then we've got... Um, this slightly raised just to give oh no it's that end that's it not the one with the pink well no you could have the pink dots doesn't matter so I've got some mini dimensionals here so this is just um 3d foam tape but in tiny bits so for things like this size it's perfect um so we call them dimensionals because they add dimension how are we doing Do -do -do. right so we will just cover that over I mean, it could go there, it could go there, but I think we're going to go about there. Make sure it's straight. Hold on, I'm going to get the straight lines in here now so I can try my best at getting as straight as I can. Because I don't think that's straight. That'll do. And then I'm going to get my bigger dimensionals so that this stands out a little bit. So these are bigger, still hexagons, but bigger. I'll put one in each corner. And one in the middle. It's got paper on there, but just flick that off. Ooh. All over your desk, of course. Oop. There we go. And so you could have um, started, you could have put a nice raspberry, rich raspberry or pool party layer around there. But we're kind of still keeping it sim simple-ish, believe it or not. There we go. So as per your request, let's move all that out of the way. 
Card one, <laughs> not quite as groovy as that. Um, but same principle, same card. And what have we used there? We've used stamps, ink, paper. That's it. But ink in a few different formats um, that you could do. So what do we think? You like? So I can't even find. Where's yesterday's card? Oh, there it is. <laughs> there we go. You can just about see that. I don't think you can see that on Instagram. Hold on, let's do it like that. Will that work? Sort of. Well, there we go. We've been a while, 50 minutes. <laughs> but we've had a nice inky mess. As I say, it's very unlike me to get this inky. I, and Mrs. Clean Contemporary, this is me. This is a little less me. Um, but we're just kind of showing each day how you can step your cards up, just using the same supplies that you will already have. Um, if you've got an ink pad, um, then I would always suggest you buy the reinker um, with it at the same time because it just means that it, basically your ink pad will never run out. Um, but I mean, marker pens work just as well as well by adding ink to the acetate. Either, any of it works. Um, and as I say, if you wanted to try um, with the blends, um, because these are alcohol based, you would need alcohol instead of water. Um, so you can buy that off and kind of chem chemists and Amazon and all that sort of thing. But you're looking for isop isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol it's also called um there's also blends solution um is another name for it sold as a craft supply um but yeah any of those will work with these instead and that, that way you would add um so you would add oh hang on it's still wet you don't have um the alcohol based ink pads that stays on our um alcohol based but they don't come in a variety of colors Whereas this, here's how you would add your colour to that. And then you would add, oh, so you just like that, and you'd add the alcohol there and it would start splitting out. But if I put, put water on that now, it's all it's dry already. Look, it's not even not even shifting. Dries pretty much instantly um, and doesn't mix with water. That's why when you're colouring things, you want things that don't mix together. So when you stamp an image in a water-based ink, pa um, ink pad, you want to colour it with alcohol-based pens and vice versa. Um, so you don't want them to blend together. Right. <laughs> That's it for today. So I did show you, where was my sneaky peeks? I did a sneaky peek. So building on that card. So obviously we started with this one, super simple and great to start out with, not too complicated. Then we've got a bit wahey. Tomorrow we're going a waho. Did you see that? Wow. <laughs> and then Thursday we are going a bit waho. <laughs> so there you go. That, that's it. I'm going to leave you there. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget all those offers that are on at the moment. As I said, um, the Hawaii shoppy, shoppy, shoppy deal, um, and other things as well. But thank you for joining me. As I say, I will be back tomorrow at midday again. And this worked. It seemed. It seems that this was all good. I'm a little bit shocked at how well it went. <laughs> so. Um, I will be back here again at midday tomorrow um, sharing that card with you. The next card, the kind of stepped up version of this, so we're stepping it up each day. Um, I will see you then. Thanks ever so much for joining me. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm pressing this. I'm going to need to do that on there. Too many devices. It's like a, you've got to be a film producer here as well. Right, see you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.